In a race, I'm running as fast as I can. My goal is the same for every course, to cross the finish line as quickly as possible. But back in the lab, I'm trying to achieve something quite different. I'm racing to absolute zero, the temperature at which atoms and molecules stop moving. My name is Tao Wang. I'm a physicist, and I work at the coldest place in the universe. At the Center for Ultracold Atoms, physicists have cooled atoms to the lowest temperature ever recorded, half a billionth of a degree Kelvin above absolute zero. To put this in perspective, these atoms are still billions of times colder than the average temperature of outer space. In physics, temperature is defined as how fast, on average, the atoms and molecules in the substance are moving. At room temperature, gas molecules in the air around us are moving at speeds faster than a commercial airliner. In contrast, absolute zero is where all such thermal motion comes to a stop. The machine that we built to get the atoms to these temperatures is quite remarkable. There are glowing threads of laser light weaving through mirrors, lenses, and other optical elements. There are electronic devices of all shapes and sizes firing off bursts of signals to all corners of the room. And at the center of it all, is a sealed metal chamber whose interior is maintained at a near-perfect vacuum. Inside, a small sample of atoms sit at record low temperatures. To bring our atoms to temperatures just above absolute zero, we illuminate them using laser beams from every direction, each of which gives the atoms a remarkably strong push. By pushing from every direction, we bring all the atoms to a standstill. This all happens within a fraction of a second, such that the resulting deceleration is equivalent to a thousand times the maximum of what the human body can endure. When we bring atoms to such incredibly low temperatures, we can make them do things that will be impossible anywhere else. For example, in labs like ours, physicists are venturing into the realm of chemistry to demonstrate how simple reactions involving atoms and molecules at ultra-cold temperatures can defy the rules of conventional chemistry. When you think about chemistry, you might picture taking the contents of one test tube and pouring them into another. Then, you wait for the ingredient atoms to collide during their random motion to produce the expected chemical reaction. But what if instead, we could make these chemical reactions happen on demand, merely at the flip of a switch? This is unthinkable under normal circumstances, but when we take away the random motion of our atoms, we can make exactly this happen. The simplest of all chemical reactions happens when two atoms join together to form molecules. In my research, we start with ultra-cold sodium and lithium atoms. Normally, this mixture is stable and no reaction occurs. But when we turn on a tiny magnetic field around this mixture, then immediately, as if on cue, sodium atoms find lithium partners and form molecules. When we turn the magnetic field off again, everything goes in reverse, and the molecules break apart into individual atoms. This is a fundamentally new way of being able to both trigger chemical reactions and undo them at the atomic level. The field of chemistry at ultra-cold temperatures has much, much more to offer. But to get there, we have a lot of ground to cover. So this is where it helps to be a runner. In both running and science, there's a lot of training to be done before you're ready to run the race. You cover the same ground again and again in training until you know it like the back of your hand. It's important to persevere through failure and breakdowns. For every experiment that works, there are hundreds if not thousands of experiments that don't. And it's only with small, determined steps that great discoveries are made in science. At the end of the road, is the joy of accomplishing something you've never been able to do before. The ability to make chemistry happen on demand is one of the biggest dreams of modern science. Imagine a future where energy can be harnessed from new fuel sources with optimum efficiency and no pollution. Or where drugs can eliminate cancer cells without collateral damage. It sounds far-fetched, but if any of this becomes reality, Perhaps it will be because of what we have learned here, at the coldest place in the universe. So come on, we've still got a long way to go.